Oh, look. Another package. Oh, look. It's wet. How? I don't know. But, um, hopefully what's inside is still good. I don't... What the f hopefully what's inside of this thing is still okay. I kind of got lazy and... I didn't know where my permanent marker was, so I just kind of grabbed some tape and some sticky notes and covered the stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it kind of got wet somehow. I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, today we're going to be unboxing this. Well, un enveloping, you can say. I get, I, it's not even a word, but it doesn't matter. So what's inside this thing is the phone that I recorded my first YouTube video on. That old one is long gone, but I decided to get another one because I really wanted it back. I really enjoyed that phone, and I thought it was really cool. So I ordered one for only $16, well, roughly 20 with shipping, um, off of eBay. And yeah, we're going to unbox it right now. I'm going to go over what's wrong with it, how... This is really not much is wrong with it, unless it's water damaged, because as you can see, it kind of got wet. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's unbox this thing. They have a pull tab right here, which is really, really nice. You can just go ahead and do that. Which means I don't even have to put my phone down for this crap. Alrighty, so we got this open. This is a pretty big package just for this small phone, but okay. Um... <laughs> Look how easy that is to tear. It's because it got wet. Alrighty, so it's inside of here. Oh, it's actually falling out. It's right here. <laughs> that was easy. This is the Samsung Galaxy Express, the original one that came out on AT&T as a AT&T Go phone, I guess. And yeah, it has a pre-installed screen protector, which I'm going to take off right now because it looks freaking stupid. Okay, goodbye. Hopefully the screen is mint. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> that means I can just wipe it off. Actually, I'm gonna do that real quick. Hold on. Look at that. The screen looks almost brand new. Um, that's, that's awesome. All right. So, yeah, as I was saying, this is the SGH i437 or something, Samsung Galaxy Express. And, yeah, my first one had a cracked screen and the rear-facing camera didn't focus, so I had to record my first video on the front-facing camera, which, believe... Just, just believe me, it was so hard to get everything in frame that, like, half of the video was, <laughs> half of the video had all the phones, like, halfway off the screen. It was so stupid. But, yeah, let's see if it'll turn on. So, it doesn't turn on, and I think I know why. The listing said that it had a pretty weak battery, so hopefully I have a battery inside of my battery box thingy. Um... If not, it's not a big deal, but for now, let's plug it in. Alrighty. Um, yeah, it was dead, just as I thought. So, uh, while we're waiting for this to charge for just a bit, I'm gonna try and find a battery for it. Wait, I just realized, that sounds really stupid, because why would I be charging this with that? Okay, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna find a battery. <laughs> I'm not gonna find a battery for it right now. I'll find one later if it's really that bad. Um, but yeah, let's just wait for this to charge for a few minutes or so. Alright, so I've left it on the charger for probably around, like, three minutes. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and try and turn it on. And there we go. <laughs> now it's turning on. I apologize for the fan up top. You can see going across the screen but yeah okay all right so it's on the start screen i guess which is swag um guess i'll i guess i'll go ahead and set this up real quick and then yeah we'll go from there Alrighty, so i've gotten this thing all set up it's all ready to go um man you know what i miss this wallpaper and i miss using this freaking phone i use this phone for so many things Oh my god, the memories. <laughs> god, it's, uh, some are bad, some are good, but holy crap, it has been a while. Can you go, go away? Anyways, um, yeah, this is the Samsung Galaxy Express. Now, I think it's time for a little bit of a backstory on how I got it. 
what it's running and how it compares to phones nowadays. So when I first got this phone, I think I was in eighth grade and believe it or not, I got it from a random old neighbor of mine who I don't think lives in my neighborhood anymore, but yeah, I still got it from an old neighbor of mine for free. Now, she said it was a Galaxy S3 and it really looked like one, still does, but there are some key differences between the S3 and the Galaxy Express, although reviewers also say it looks like a Galaxy S3. But that's besides the point. So when I got this phone, it was cracked on the front, only slightly, but pretty noticeable, and it was just overall really beaten up. Now, I did end up using this for basically all of 7th and 8th grade. I don't know if I even got it in 8th grade. I might have gotten it in 7th grade. I just, uh, memory sucks. But when I decided to start my YouTube channel, I didn't have anything better than this to record on. And I really, really, really wanted to get a video out, so even though the rear-facing camera was not working properly, it would not focus, I still ended up deciding to record my first video on the front-facing camera, which, believe it or not, which you should believe, was extremely, extremely difficult. Most of the phones that I showed were off-centered, it was just a complete mess, I even called myself the phone guy, it was so dumb, but... Yeah, overall an embarrassing first video, but it got me to where I am today. I don't know, it's just crazy to see how far things have progressed on my channel. So how exactly does the Samsung Galaxy Express hold up to phones nowadays? Well, I'm going to use my daily driver, my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, as a reference. So the Samsung Galaxy Express comes with 8GB compared to the 128GB you get with the base model S10 and S10 Plus. Processor-wise, the Samsung Galaxy Express comes with a 1.5GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus dual-core processor with 1GB of RAM, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus come with a 2.5GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 octa-core processor with 8 gigs of RAM, and that is obviously the US version. The out-of-states version comes with a Samsung Exynos processor, but it's a lot worse, so I didn't care to include it in this list. So on the Samsung Galaxy Express, we get a 5 megapixel single rear-facing camera, and for the Galaxy S10 Plus, we have dual 12 megapixel cameras with an additional 16 megapixel sensor as well. And another easy thing to tell is that the Samsung Galaxy Express comes with a 480p AMOLED screen, while the Samsung Galaxy S10 comes with a 1440p AMOLED screen. Quite a big difference there, and it really shows. Even these few specs listed here just go to show how much things have changed between what I had when I first started my YouTube channel versus what I have now, and that is just ridiculous on how much stuff has actually changed, you know? It's, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But there you go, that is what I started my YouTube channel on. This phone right here. It's just crazy to see how much things have changed since I first started my YouTube channel versus now. It's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. But, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and little overview of the first phone that started this channel. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this content, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.